This marathon could go on all year and we'd still be here, listening to poets who Steve gave his ear. But I can only speak for me, tell you how Steve helps me to see what I see, my tribe. <laughs> Woo! My tribe is tribes, mixed, not separatists, downtown, Third Street, the heartbeat, home to a gathering of the tribes, where anyone from anywhere might be, cause Steve meant that shit. Like when he yelled, read the goddamn poem from the back of the New Yorkian, which is how I met him and then walked him home. Because I'm blind, he said, and behind, I have work for you to do. He was about getting it done, telling you that you can get it done and you should. Why shouldn't you have an art show or rehearse a course of poets in this living room? Where an idea lived and the Lower East Side came to imbibe its heady vibe. How do you know you won't be in the windy one day to say a gathering of the tribes is serious business? Calling everyone in the world is a necessity. Bring in newspaper, coffee, and cigarettes. Steve catching the morning sun on his stoop. We walked up the creaking wooden stairs. A cat was stuck in the wall somewhere. We couldn't find it, but it was there. Oh. Crying for someone's care, like the poets who dare to speak to power in their darkest hour. And Steve heard their call. He was there for them all. Early in the morning, it was just Steve on the couch. With cross legs, long piano fingers, holding a cigarette, missing the overflowing ashtrays <laughs> left by the loud night crowd. His voice gruff and deep, carried without him raising it. My dear, this is what we're going to do. Look in the filing cabinet for the old grant and write a new grant. Did you read Paul's book? Sue Harris' book? What are you reading now? I need someone to do a review. Why haven't you read Bob's book? Why won't you read each other's books? Look at the filing cabinet. I can't blind. What do you think about the last issue? What about the cover in the back of it? Why is the layout taking so long? <laughs> Sorry, I lost my place here. <laughs> oh, call Winton, get something from him for the magazine. Call, who do you know? Call Tony, Diane, Sheila, Butch, Pedro. This little lady is Martha. Please don't call me the lady. Listen to what I'm telling you. <laughs> call that crazy woman and tell her that I love her madly. And sadly, my dear, the deadline for that is past. But there's another one, you'll get a cut, don't get in a rut. Call that woman with all those babies. You know she can never leave the house. Make sure you get her poem. Steve knew that we were part of the drive too. All the single mothers who had nowhere to be, but home with the babies, not at the stoop with his friends, drinking and thinking all night, in clouds of smoke, sharing talks and meeting agents, probably. While we kept quiet, watch on unheard words, not on stages or in the pages of magazine, except for a gathering of the tribes, quiet as it's kept. I want you to host this forum. Me, why me? Why not you? I can't do it, I'm blind. This little lady is Martha. <laughs> Don't call me little lady. Okay, my dear, did you call Winton yet? I want you to be an editor. Me, why me? Why not you? I can't do it, I'm blind. Steve <laughs> was free jazz. Yes. Out Bebop, New Orleans, California, cool New York. There was jazz about jazz. What is jazz? And who can play? And who can say they play and dream? In jazz, the key to the burned down house. He couldn't rebuild, but build something else. If it's been kept quiet, it's not because Steve was quiet. <laughs> Let's go to Queens, Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Jersey. Have you been to that new place yet? Let's listen to Cecil at Lincoln Center. It was me. 
wanted to leave before Cecil's very last encore. And who was in the lobby? Max and Winton. Didn't wait to the end either. This little lady is Martha. She's gonna call you. You gotta give us something for the magazine. What's the word on the scene? Let's get a limousine to the Lower East Side. A gathering of the tribes. Mm. His serious business. Steve made us a tribe. Mm. We keep him alive. Yes. Yes. Sadly, I miss him madly. Hmm. Thank you all.